how to practice or how to train a clear thumb release. Recapturing in part one, we spoke about the not too tight grip. Of course, there is a deep hook, stuff like this. I don't like it. So, not too tight. And structure, push, pull. If you don't remember, I will put the link in the description. What I want to talk about today is when you hold the string and you hook, make sure that your wrist is as relaxed as possible. So don't have a stiff wrist and pull something, it will ruin your shot. So when you, I say so too often, when you have your hook, whatever, one finger, two finger, um, your lock, one finger, two finger, or the, like I do, thumb on middle finger, relax your wrist, very important. When your wrist is not relaxed, and let's say you have stiff, parts done we talk about the bow hand first thing was only draw hand so the left regarding the spine and the draw weight of your bow when you don't move this hand the arrow might still due to a bit string rolling and due to the stiffness of the shaft wobble a bit sideways, what you saw last time in my paper test, that it always cuts a slit, not a hole. So like this. Might still deflect the arrow. So what we do now is a light weight of katra. Means when you let go, you simply move your hand, move the bow a little out of the way in the moment you release. Looks like this. So not too tight, wrist relaxed, push pull. Then you simply let the hand go a little outwards. Like this. Then the arrow will not bounce against the, the shelf here, the handle, and it should fly a little more straight, but you will figure that out. Like this. Don't do too much now, no snap and, and heart. And how you achieve this? I showed it in the video about Katra. These three fingers are tight. Make sure that the pinky is the tightest. Ring finger is a little less and middle finger is less. And when you shoot then with this, your bow will almost do this movement automatically. We try it now one more time. Step by step, as said. When the arrow is on, not too tight, wrist relaxed, push, pull, equal force. And when you hold the pinky tight enough, then the bow will do this movement automatically. Okay. Now, what's the difference when you shoot the thumb ring? Let's see. And then how to hook on the thumb ring. You will hold your hand straight or will you slightly bend it upwards? And I only can say, I sometimes do it this way, I sometimes do it another way. I tend to slightly rotate my wrist already, so the string 
sits not completely, it sits a little more on this edge, not completely centered anymore on the ring. But this is me shooting. Oops, it was a little low. This one from Alibo. Feels a little better to me with this big ledge here. It's a little easier and a bit more controllable for me. And now with the same ring but with a slightly cutter. I ruined my arm. Helps slightly move the bow out of the way and your arrow flies directly straight. Green thumb ring, cylindrical. I shoot the first two with a steady bow hand and the second two with a slightly movement in the bow. Interesting now when you want to follow me See this the first two Angle and this direction means that the arrow really wobbled and this two I shot with the side cut that I went straight So when you look maybe from this position you see it See both in the same these two shot without bow hand moving they were deflected and this two shot with katra they went straight in the ring is a design after a ring found age 2000 years ago this ring has this hook to hold the arrow in place soon we will review a ring from custom thumb ring archery they will build now a new one, looks like a little the Turkish style, Ottoman style, but with a hook on it. So I am really interested to see this new thumb ring, but now we shoot this big one. First two without. Katra. Heard that? No! Oh, wow! Getting there. And now a little side Katra. Way better. Difference this time is not that big like the one before, but you still see that when you move the bow out of the way, it's always a little better. Um, Ottoman style from custom thumb ring archery. Soon with this hook, this time the normal one. So, hook. One finger hook. Yeah, you really, this is your per personal preference. I like to always have the wrist roughly straight. Sometimes I slightly bend the string a little, but it depends. Let's shoot this one. Two without katra, two with katra. I ruined my arrows. Maybe you don't want to use a metal frame for that. And again. 
one arrow, this one, was hitting the frame, was lightly deflected. That was the other one shot without uh, Katra. And these two, they completely straight in the target. So, summarize all this. Uh, how to practice, now you saw a few different things. They are of importance for me, the beginner. I only take care about that, in my opinion, don't hold your thumb too tight. Only lock it as much as needed. And then simply spread your fingers. Even the double uh, one and a half fingers hook mentioned by Gao Yin. One finger is on the thumbnail, the other finger is touching the end of the thumb. Works cool, you can flip the fingers away. For me, there is no difference if you have the finger on the thumbnail. Or if you go further to the tip of the thumb. It always depends a little on how you align your wrist. All these works for me. You simply need to find out which one you prefer and then stick to it and train it every this hook this lock is nice this lock is working for me there is no difference in release because this movement makes for me no difference if you have the index here or if the index here or you have one and a half fingers or you have two fingers on it simply make sure that your wrist is relaxed and aligned with the arrow not like this or not like this so this is the only thing and then simply apply your lock accordingly and then relax your wrist. First thing, not too tight. Second thing, relax your wrist. Third thing, push, pull. So never get drawn back here, then you start shaking, push and pull. And let go. Then it really comes very crisp without doing something and last thing hold the bow proper as mentioned before pinky tight bring a little less middle completely less the other two are totally relaxed then your bow will do this movement almost automatically and this will give you clearance for the arrow to pass the bow. And this is then a very straight flight. And it always sounds a little more powerful. I said my katras always increase the speed. But then when you shoot this flipping, the bow hands lightly out which when posture is proper and you apply this these three different pressures on your fingers it will happen automatically and when this happens then you have a really clear release and the arrow pass straight and then you don't have to bother of spine is it matching the draw and only make sure that the arrow is not too lightweight for your bow but with this way, the spying does not matter that much. You always get a straight arrow flight with this. So these are my five cents, or now maybe ten cents, about how to practice. And then simply go for your paper test I mentioned before. I skipped this today. See what is the arrow doing. Is the arrow going straight through or still slicing a complete the, the, the paper in pieces? And then simply practice, practice, practice. Or shoot simply through a ring bigger or smaller one and then when you hear the arrow touching it's not straight simply overshoot through the center and the arrow should not touch your ring or your square like I use and everything is fine and the rest is simply step by step 
practice only one thing at a time, not all in one together, might not work. So simply make sure that the first few shots only, you're not too tight. Second, wrist is relaxed. Third, push, pull. And fourth is then, and then you're good to go. And I think it might help to increase overall your thumb ring, clear, release, shooting. I hope I didn't forget anything, I had to answer a few questions with this, I think I got them roughly all. So thank you very much for watching, any more questions down in the comments below then I can do another video about it. Thank you, bye.